Hello, my name's Annette, Sunbeam Fabric Art. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I make an hourglass block. So, I'm using a little charm pack here that I picked up called Blue Escape. It's really pretty. I picked out a very light and a very dark to have the contrast to make the hourglass block. So the first thing we have to do is make a half square triangle. To do that, I'm going to draw a diagonal line on the back side of my lighter fabric. Now it doesn't matter um, that we're drawing a line with whatever pen, this is going to be the cut line. I'm making a couple of dash marks. Those are going to be my sew lines. So I'm just double checking here that I did draw my line on my wrong side of my fabric. I'm going to take my dark square right side up, my light square right side down. So my right sides are together. I'm going to lay those together. Then I'm going to take them over to the sewing machine and sew down a quarter inch from the center cut line on both sides of that center cut line. Here you can see those sew lines on both sides of that cut line. They're in about a quarter of an inch and when I cut those apart I'm going to have two half square triangles, the light and a dark. The next step is to cut those two half square triangles apart and press them. So I'm going to press both to the dark side. Here you can see my little half square triangles that I have finished. If that is all I wanted, I could trim these now, but I'm going to make them into hourglass blocks. So to keep it straight in my mind, I like to lay them opposite. I'm gonna flip one over. I'm gonna lay my ruler, and I need to match up a horizontal line with my seam line. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm matching up one of those horizontal lines on my ruler with the seam. Then I'm gonna take my pencil and draw a vertical line straight down the middle on the diagonal of this um, half square triangle. So I've got everything lined up and I'm gonna go from point to point vertically with my pencil. Now this dark fabric, the pencil won't show up on the camera, but it did for me. Um, I did go over it a couple of times just so I would make sure it showed up when I went to the sewing machine. So the next step is to put the right sides of these half square triangles together, light to dark, light to dark. Uh, make sure those seams butt up against each other. And then I just put a little pin in it to hold it together. Then my next step will be to take it to the sewing machine and I will sew a quarter inch on each side, on both sides of that cut line. So being very careful, I did sew that uh, quarter inch on each side of my cut line. And the next step will be to cut that apart and press those hourglass blocks flat, and then we'll trim them down. Okay, now I'm gonna trim this block down. I'll just zoom in just a little bit here. Um, the way I do this is I've got a ruler here that has this line 
diagonal line. It's a 45 degree angle line, so it's exactly bisecting a triangle in half. So these squares are going to finish to four inches. So I am going to line up the two inch mark and the two inch mark right on the middle, right where these two seams are. So two and two. Then I'm going to match up this diagonal line to my diagonal seam. Two and two, there we go. Now I'm going to trim off two sides. So it's all lined up. And the two and two are lined up and this diagonal line is lined up. So trim this side. And trim this side. So now I have a perfectly trimmed two sides. I'm going to flip that around. And now that it's all lined up, I just really have to line up my four and my four. But while I'm doing that, I will also just verify my two and two are meeting in the middle. My diagonal line is still right on there, right on that seam. And we will trim that. And now I have a four inch hourglass block. Thanks for joining me on this little hourglass journey today. Uh, if you saw the last video, you know I may need over 800 hourglass blocks to make the quilted coat that I'm planning on. Um, if I make some of them larger than three inches, that number will come down. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.